to BizHacks Digital Marketers Graduation Celebration. My name is Dan Gretsch. I'm the CEO and founder of BizHack Academy and the MC for today's festivities. This is our final graduation celebration of 2022. Uh, and I'm so thrilled to have you guys here uh, and to celebrate small business marketing in all of its forms. Um, a lot of you know me, but for those who don't, my name is Dan Gretsch. I'm a business storyteller. Uh, I'm the creator of the lead building system, which is the foundational system for both of the courses that we're celebrating here today. Uh, I spent nearly 15 years as a journalist at NPR, PBS, the Miami Herald, WLRN, and other places. I was lucky enough to be part of a Pulitzer Prize. Uh, and then I've really transitioned my journalistic storytelling into business storytelling. Uh, the business story is the foundation, we believe, of all marketing. And you're going to see uh, a half dozen incredible businesses share their business story and then how they built campaigns out of it. We are very lucky to be partnered uh, with two incredible organizations. Uh, first, of course, is Miami-Dade County District 5, the Elevate D5 partnership. Uh, and we're also partnering with the Office of the Miami-Dade Mayor. Uh, we're going to be having an incredibly exciting announcement at the end of today's graduation. Uh, it is the first time uh, publicly that we're going to be announcing what I'm about to share. So you're all uh, in for a bit of a treat. I, I, I hope you stick around to the end to be able to hear about that. Um, we have had a, a number of accolades uh, with the Miami Herald, Knight Foundation, Entrepreneurs Organization who have helped us in our entrepreneurial journey and to kind of build BizHack into what it is today. And we've partnered with the top three educational institutions in South Florida, FIU, Broward College, Miami-Dade College's Idea Center, uh, and a number of uh, small business support organizations such as the SBDC, the FSMSDC, the Florida State Supplier, Minority Supplier Diversity Development Council, Miami Bayside Foundation and the Opelika CDC to help give our training to BIPOC and women-owned businesses, which is a huge emphasis uh, of ours here in, in Miami-Dade County. Uh, a little bit about me. I am the, the, the son of a lifelong educator. My mother taught art, uh, art in inner city Philadelphia public schools for 35 years. I like to say that she taught an underdog subject to underdog students. And I have always, whether I was a journalist or an instructor, have always been a champion of the underdog, a champion of you, the small business, uh, the, the backbone of our economy, the folks who have some of the biggest challenges, whether it's inflation or supply chain or COVID. Uh, and our goal is really simple. We want to transform your lives. And that has uh, been a thread uh, that has run through my entire career, including when I was a young journalist at the Miami Herald covering Miami-Dade schools. I tended to focus on the failing schools uh, that were actually incredibly successful uh, at being a place of uh, love and nurturing for the students, but they just didn't get the test scores because they frankly uh, were not as wealthy. Um, and so uh, I've always been a champion of the underdog. It's something I learned from my mother. And that is my story of me. That's where BizHack comes from, the genuine values-based place it comes from. And you're going to hear a version of the story of me for all of our presenters today, because that's how we teach marketing and sales. We believe that marketing is a human to human endeavor. And if you can connect on values, uh, you're halfway to a sale. I want to introduce our two amazing cohorts, Woohoo! the Magic Marketers and the Busy Bees. The Magic Marketers are cohort 24 of the Digital Marketers Edge. Uh, and uh, Busy Bees are cohort two of the Elevate D5 program, How to Find Customers Online. Uh, the lead instructor, who you're going to be hearing from in a little bit, uh, Marika Lynch, uh, is here today, former journalist. We worked together at the Miami Herald, turned communicator for good. And uh, Mike Pace is back as the lead instructor of the Digital Marketer's Edge. Uh, he is a marketing consultant for Connected Jewelry. Connected Jewelry uh, is a company dedicated to sustainable practices in the jewelry industry. Whatever the opposite of the blood diamond is, that's what Mike stands for. So two uh, you know, purpose-driven entrepreneurs who are teaching these classes. And then just this amazing roster uh, of coaches, uh, Erica Mayor, Tamisha Duncan, and Diego Orlandini for How to Find Customers Online. 
uh, and Sasha Awa and Carleen Scarlett for the Digital Marketers Edge. You'll be hearing uh, from a couple of them during today's presentation, graduation celebration as well. So the program is we're going to start uh, with a word from our commissioner, uh, which we're very excited about. And then we're going to do case studies uh, of real life campaigns uh, for both the How to Find Customers Online and Digital Marketers Edge courses. We're going to then have a class photo, a graduation uh, ceremony where each of you are going to get your digital certificates. And then our highest award, the Biz Hacker Award, uh, a thank you gifts raffle, which we're going to do throughout and our special musical surprise. I do also have a big announcement that'll come right before the musical surprise uh, that I wanna share with you. So first, <laughs> a word from our sponsor, uh, Miami-Dade District 5 County Commissioner and future president, Eileen Higgins. Well, thank you for the promotion. How's everyone? Um, hi, I don't wanna interrupt for too long, but it's exciting to see our second um, cohort. Um, working with Dan and his wonderful team to try to help District 5 small business owners essentially learn how to find customers online, tell customers about themselves, um, engage in a more um, productive digital manner. And um, I think I think as you all know this, well, maybe you don't, but the Elevate District 5 program is a program that um, I sat down with my team and decided we needed to form after COVID. And the idea behind it was simply during COVID, so many of our small businesses struggled and they struggled with all kinds of things and different things. Uh, some couldn't you know, figure out technology. Some weren't able to pivot to do digital sales. Others weren't able to apply for loans properly because they didn't know how to generate financial statements. So there was a ton of needs in the small business community. And I was fortunate enough um, well, I guess, you know, President Biden and the Congress passed the American Rescue Plan, which allowed funding to be spent on long-term stability, growth, invigoration of small businesses. And what I've chosen to do with the allocation that came to District 5, which was about $2 million, is to create a robust program where small business owners in D5, which is a lot of Miami Beach and a lot of the city of Miami, can for, at no cost to themselves except time. And I know time is money for small business owners. So that is actually um, a, a big contribution. But at no actual financial cost to yourself, you could take advantage of all kinds of programs. And this program and the support on the digital marketing side through BizHack has been one component. Some of you may have participated in our tech academies. Others, uh, we're now launching a financial master's work class that launched last night. So any small business owner in District 5 is um, eligible uh, to participate in those programs. And if you think of other things you need to learn, please let us know and we'll try to put them together um, since the American Rescue Plan money is able to be spent over the next couple of years. Um, one thing that we are doing, because we also realize small businesses need access to capital, and some of them don't have any credit established. So later in the next, in this fall, um, we will be launching a um, microloan program. And that is a program that's also available for District 5 um, businesses who maybe haven't had their first loan yet. And the idea is it would be small amounts, could be a thousand bucks, 5,000 bucks, maybe $10,000, but you know, you're not borrowing a hundred grand. But the idea is to get our small businesses access to capital, repay those loans back so that next time when they go to, for example, the Rise Miami-Dade Fund, where they could get $30,000, $50,000, or then the Small Business Administration, where you could get $100,000, or even quite frankly, a million dollars if you need it <laughs> for expansion but we've got to build up your credit. And so that's another uh, thing that is coming. I'm sure you all have been in contact with Anna Montes or Alexina um, in preparing for this program, but any questions on any of the other programs we have, please um, call us. We're here for you in District 5, and I'm just so happy that we now have 
hundreds of District 5 businesses over the years that have participated in our programming and are, are networked um, together to, to make our this district vibrant. Well, we all know it's like downtown Rickle, Little Havana, Miami Beach. It, it's, it's you all that make this district um, special and not just a place with empty storefronts and empty offices and, and not very creative ideas. So that's it. Congratulations on your hard work. I know, as I said, even though the cost, the, the course is free because of our Elevate D District 5 program, it doesn't mean that your time is. But I know that I, by the way, I grew up in a small business family and I can tell you that marketing is the thing small business owners think about the least, right? Um, you know, not to use a simple example, but if, if I were, you know, I look at these people that maybe they're opening a restaurant or a store and they'll spend hundreds of thousand dollars on the build out of the restaurant, right? And they work on the food, the product so well. So the place and the product, and then they turn the lights on and just expect people to know they're there. And, and we, we know that's not how it happens, um, that marketing is actually a skill. And as entrepreneurs and small business owners, if you don't focus on it, your business could become irrelevant and could, you know, and, and that makes the difference between profitability and um, lack of profitability. So congratulations to everyone. I'm happy you're participating. And uh, as I said, let us know if there's anything that's missing from Elevate District 5, and we will try to create it for you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Marika, Thank, and everyone else. Thank you, Eileen. I had um, two special um, surprises for you. Um, the, the first one is, um, I've invited, uh, Illy Verdes, uh, to, to say a, a few words, um, in gratitude. So Illy, uh, is the first biz hacker award winner from cohort one who as a, um, uh, gift for winning the award, got to go through the digital marketers edge program for free courtesy of elevate D five and biz hack. And this is what she wrote uh, to us in a note to you uh, a few days ago. Uh, Illy said, to say I was blessed is an understatement. These courses have given me tangible tools to keep my businesses afloat in what may be the most challenging chapter uh, of its nearly 25 year long presence in District 5. And um, as everybody uh, who's been part of the courses knows, um, Illy uh, and her sister started Apple Family Dental uh, and her, her sister was the dentist. Uh, and then her sister passed away. Uh, and so she can't run a dental practice without a practicing dentist. And so they've had to shut their doors uh, as they've recruited and they have now have a new dentist uh, hired and Illy has innovated uh, a brand new business model uh, to help kind of cover that transition. Uh, and she is like, I'm, I'm tingling with, 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 with gr gratitude. Um, and so Illy, I'd like you to say a few words just you know, to, to acknowledge the, 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 the value that the, this program has, has provided to you. Hello. Hi, we can hear you. Okay, good. Sounds good. Um, so it, what my experience in this program has been, and let me tell you that I have been in undergraduate and in graduate courses. This is an advanced level university grade course. And I went through two semesters of a curriculum that is changed me completely. And it's a really huge shame that not more small business owners are aware of this incredible resource. And uh, whatever it is that I can say in order to recruit fellow small business owners to uh, have access to what is a completely different world because we're all living in real life and my real life right now, I cannot conduct business as usual. So I have no choice but to go online. But online is a universe that is thriving where money is everywhere. And District 5 has access to the keys of this kingdom. That's what I have to say. Thanks, Silly. It's so nice to see that people like what we did and learned from what we did. And that is, of course, why we wanted to create these programs so that our small businesses, I don't mean to say that District 5 is the best district in the county, but pretty much I think it is. So <laughs> that's why I live in it. Um, but it's good. And spread the word. 
right? Small business owners are, they're busy. Um, you don't always reach them via email. So, you know, you all may know others and let them know if they're a District 5 business, they can take advantage of it. And then, of course, if you're not a District 5 business, you can contact us anyway, because the mayor has other programs that you can take advantage of if you're if you're not um, um, in my my particular district. Uh, that, that's right. And that actually, you know, Illy talked about the keys to the kingdom, which digital marketing provides. Uh, there's another key I wanted to share with you, which is I cannot even believe this. I just got this call less than 30 minutes ago. It's part of the reason why we we're running a little late as a team, because our own Chris Rourke of District 5 was given a key to the city, to the county today. Chris, talk about this and talk about why I I, I want a key. How do I get one? Incredible, man. Thank you. This is this is the caliber of businesses that we have in the in, in the in the Zoom right now. So Chris Rourke of Volta Ion, inventor of the electric jack, talk to us a little bit about why you got a key to the county today. So first of all, I got dressed up this way because of graduation from this act. Let's start <laughs> with that. You know, it's an important day and I had to dress up like that. And uh, it's been an amazing course. And thank you, Commissioner Higgins, for what you're doing. It helps businesses across the board. Uh, it helps us also understand uh, the, the digital marketing that we didn't know that well, right? We can build electric stuff and, and, and create the future in automation. And so the reason I got the key was because I worked very hard for the last five years trying to get uh, Miami green, you know, with electric jack and also with, uh, with innovations in automations and factories, converting them from all technology with very dirty oil and stuff like that into automated uh, machinery that's very energy efficient and clean. And that was one of the reasons they gave me the key to the city. Or, or Miami-Dade, the county, keys to the county. I want to clarify that. Well, even I don't have a key to Miami-Dade County, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck does a person have to do? I don't know. I'm going to call the mayor. Build an electric deck is what I told you. That. Okay, I'll get, I'll get right on that. I you're know, an right? engineer, right? I know I'm you're an engineer. I, I, I am. I'm an engineer, but, you know, it's been a while. So I'm going to start using my MacGyver skills and see if I can get a key. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing better than getting a, a key to the city is getting a road named after you, which I definitely think is in your future. No, I like. <laughs> <laughs> no I'd rather have the key. I know, I know. All right. Oh, my gosh. That's great, Chris. I'm so happy. Uh, well, anyway, you know, just, 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 just uh, on behalf of all of us, guys, throw your love in the chat right now. You know, Commissioner, it's... Eileen, you know, you're a dear friend. Uh, we've known each other for a long time. Um, I feel very blessed to be in your orbit and to have had an opportunity to work uh, with you and for you. Um, and the big announcement that I have that you already know, because you voted it through, uh, is going to come at the end vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Strive 305. But I want everyone here to understand and know that what BizHack was funded to do in the coming year was 100% because of the Elevate D5 experiment. And you took a risk on us, uh, you brought us in, uh, and we have now are gonna scale this to the whole county. Uh, and, and I'm extremely excited to kind of share with everybody that incredible opportunity. And I wanna emphasize one other thing. I cannot tell you how hard Commissioner Higgins' team worked with us to just recruit people to take a free course. I mean, we literally donated BizHack 20 hours of phone call time to just get you guys to show up for a free course. And you all are based next to, literally located next to businesses that would benefit enormously from this course. And all I need you to do is each one of you, if you really want to thank the commissioner, commit to knocking on two doors and recruiting them for January it's the last fully funded cohort we have, and it's really hard to fill. But if you go Chris Rourke and say, this changed my life and here's why, it's the best 10 hours I've ever spent, like get them to sign up, like you will make our lives so much easier come January because we all had to work so hard. And look, to, to Eileen's point, 
time is worth way more than money when you're a business owner. So we don't actually want to minimize how much you've invested, whether you invested money uh, and time or just time. But we do need your help, genuinely need your help. And we're going to have a survey at the end. Uh, ask for your recommendations. Look in your Rolodex. Start thinking about it. You have an hour and a half to think about it. Please, guys, we need your help to fill this class because we want next cohort to be the biggest ever. Thank you again, Eileen, for helping us. Uh, feel free to stick around, of course, and your it's team is amazing. All right, now on to uh, our favorite, one of our favorite things is which we have a tradition at BizHack, which is we give out thank you gifts. Uh, these thank you gifts are uh, between cohorts. So uh, you're uh, it's between members of the cohort. So, so the Digital Marketers Edge gives it to other members of the Digital Marketers Edge. Uh, the how to find customers online, give it to other members of the how to find customers online. And this is an opportunity for you to acknowledge and thank the fact that we're all in this together, right? And that we're stronger together. Um, a beautiful example, for, for instance, is Jonathan Valencia of Flipper Cinema. Spent a lot of time sharing his knowledge and coaching uh, this semester with others in the Digital Marketers Edge. That's a great gift uh, of thanks. And, and we also have some amazing thank you gifts uh, funded by both our instructors and our great um, participating businesses. And the first is a custom portrait illustration from my wife's uh, nonprofit, uh, uh, Catalyst Miami, and it's from Taylor Neverman. And the winner is? Rafael Rosario. Woohoo! Middle Grades Partnership, Wendy Samet. I'm very close to Nancy, her sister. And the winner of the book, The Work by Wes Moore is? Taylor Nevermore. Neverman. Apologies. <laughs> Jonathan, uh, who himself is uh, you know, a very experienced marketing technician, is offering a free one-on-one -on -one marketing call. Uh, he works with Flipper Cinema. And the winner is? Maria Silva. All right, Maria. Uh, Prominent Financial Consultants uh, is offering a free consultation and service worth up to $1,000 with Rafael Rosario, who you'll be hearing from soon. And the winner is? Frank Jr. Pinzer Communications, the indomitable and amazing Rachel Pinzer, uh, someone whose husband, Matt Pinzer, I worked with for many years at the Miami Herald. And she is offering a free class designed to make your business stand out. And the winner is? Renee Samuels. Renee, you're lucky. 30 minute tour from urban tour host, David Brown. And the winner is? Dorales Ruiz. Dorales. Free full moon sound healing from Attunergy by Jessica Berger. She should have put priceless as the value. And the winner is? Maya Ibars. One hour PR coaching session from the former head of the Public Relations Society of America of Miami. Grupo Mayor's Erica Mayor, and the winner is? Jessica Berger. Lucky you, Jessica. And we have more thank you gifts to come, including a couple special gifts for our instructors. But without further ado, the part we've all been waiting for, which is hearing from you today, is all about celebrating you uh, and your amazing experience. Uh, give it up for the busy bees. Cohort two of the How to Find Marketers Online Elevate D5 course. And now we're gonna do uh, your graduation presentations, your final presentations. And we're gonna start with Jessica Berger of Attunergy. So um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a quick introduction. Um, we use these as little mini standalone case studies. So I, uh, I kind of make a quick personalized introduction and then Jessica, you'll go. So just be ready to, uh, to share right after I finish. Uh, the one other quick thing is please keep it as close to four minutes as possible so that we can get out of here on time. Uh, this is a long ceremony and you all uh, definitely don't want to have to be here past two. So um, I'm going to get started now. Jessica Berger of Attunergy is an extraordinary wellness entrepreneur. She not only runs a uh, business that offers aromatherapy as part of a integrated wellness practice, but Jessica herself, who has a corporate background and an MBA, is bar none the most skilled business owner and marketer that we at BizHack have ever seen uh, in the healing and wellness space. 
and she is on the verge, I believe, of an extraordinary breakthrough as she not only, you know, leverages some of what she learned about marketing, but she's also completely repackaging uh, her her uh, product is a more um, luxury product. And I think you're going to learn a little bit about that today. Jessica, it's been a joy and a pleasure to have you. Jessica Berger of Attunergy. Thank you, Dan. And thank you, Commissioner, for making this possible for us. I also started the financial class last night and excited for all of these opportunities that we get to have here in Miami. All right, full screen. All right, so my company is Attunergy. My name is Jessica Berger. I am the founder of Attunergy. Attunergy is your haven for relaxation through scent and sound. As Dan mentioned, I moved from Chicago down to Miami to earn my MBA at the University of Miami in management and marketing. I landed my dream job as beverage operations manager at Royal Caribbean until COVID hit and I was laid off. And I searched for a job for technically two years, but in the middle of that, I decided to start my own company. In July of 2021, I formed my LLC and I started selling my products at a local farmer's market, as you can see there, at the Coconut Grove Vegan Farmer's Market. Now you can find me on attunergy.com and my Etsy shop at attunergy as well. My vision is for every person to have the tools they need to feel more relaxed. Our mission is to increase relaxation by offering all natural essential oil blends and sound healing tools, and to provide tips and tools to help others learn how to feel more relaxed. This is my business directory listing that you can find. Please check it out. My ideal customer persona are people who want to relax more, people who want to turn off the negative thoughts and invite more positive energy and positive lifestyle choices into their life. You can see here, this is one of my full moon sound healings that Maya will soon be attending and everybody is welcome to join. It's a beautiful experience. My company offers two different um, sec sections, um, products and services. So here we have Kay Klein uh, as our service customer and she's been divorced for a few years. She has two sons that are grown and out of the house and she's realized that she's just not at peace anymore. She lost love, um, she has anxiety, her health is kind of sinking a little bit and she just feels this uneasiness and this imbalance in life. And she knows that she can figure out how to be happy again, but she just needs the right tools and guidance. And so Kay and I work together on a one-on-one -on -one basis where I provide sound healing and energy healing for her and uh, to help her feel better and to get back on the right track. And then we have Julie here. She enjoys the Tunergy products, which include room and linen spray, wellness formulas, and chakra balancing oils. She likes staying healthy by using natural products that are safe for her skin and body. She enjoys working out, whether that's yoga or running, just being outside in the sun. And she lives mostly a plant-based diet. She's tired of using mainstream remedies that are ineffective and potentially dangerous for her body. And she wants to take control of her life and her health and just be happier. So Kay felt a little bit lost in life and she wasn't sure where she was going, but after our one-on-one -on -one session, she now feels more clarity and confidence about the direction of her choices. And Julie was always experiencing anxiety through the day, but now she's feeling lighter and more capable of handling stress, especially after using our wellness rollers. And then our last customer used to toss and turn at night and have trouble falling asleep, but now after using a Tunergy's pillow spray, they actually look forward to going to sleep at night. So people find me uh, usually through two or three different ways. The first is through my website, through ads or keywords. They land on a page, they look at the product, hopefully add some to their cart, and then ideally they check out. When they check out, they're automatically added to an email list. Or if they still want some more information, they can join the email list on the website, which gives them an automatic 10% off the first purchase and subscribe to our biweekly emails. The, other way is that people meet me at the Coconut Grove Farmers Market. They view the sample, they view and sample the products, they purchase them or not. Um, and then I have sound healing every Sunday in Brickell. So a lot of these customers also come to my sound healing on Sunday. 
Um, and then it forms this nice little circle where we use the oils and the products and the sound healing and they enjoy those and they usually purchase from me. Um, if they enjoy the products, but not the sound healing, then eventually most of them end up coming to the sound healing and, uh, and come back over and over again. My biggest ahas during this program, uh, number one, that it takes seven to 13 touch points to close a sale. Um, I usually kind of stop bothering people around two or three, and now I'm going to be more persistent um, and definitely try to hit that seven point mark. Second was retargeting my customers based on service needs or product needs. And especially through LinkedIn, I want to attract more corporate wellness clients so that I can bring more relaxation to the workplace. And third, I needed to analyze where the holes in the bucket were by creating maps. And this class helped me identify some of those holes. So what's next for Attunergy? Well, as Dan mentioned, I am rebranding and, and recreating um, new labels with a professional um, person. My first labels were handmade by myself and um, stepping it up a notch. After this is completed, I'll be investing in marketing, which includes Google ads, Facebook, um, LinkedIn and Instagram ads. And I also yesterday landed a storefront um, location that my products will be displayed in MANA, which I think is District 5, downtown Miami, which is a vegan and gluten-free restaurant. So I'm really excited to have my products on the shelf there. Thank you very much. And if you wanna follow me, here's my Instagram. You can follow me on LinkedIn as well. Again, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Jessica, for being such a generous and hardworking participant and good for you uh, for taking the financial literacy class. Um, while, uh, would you say just a quick word about, uh, actually, do we have, um, I think I saw that we have Ange uh, Alexina. Alex, um, Alexina, would you, Lexi, would you mind just sharing just a quick word about the financial literacy class? And is it too late for people to sign up? Uh, is, is, yeah, so just kind of give us a quick word about that while, while we prepare. Uh, you know, for our next speaker, who's Ruben? Well, of course. Um, so it started last night. It's downtown um, in a space called Mind Warehouse, which is right off of uh, Northeast First Street. So a really great space. Um, it It's one of three sessions. So the first one was with a CPA and a banker um, to kind of go over some of the financial backgrounds and need to knows as a small business owner. The next two sessions um, go into a little bit more detail with the last one being around um, QuickBooks. So there's gonna be a in-person like online um, training session for anyone who's not as familiar with QuickBooks as a service. Um, so it's not too late to join. Um, we do need people to go to all three to kind of officially graduate for some of the um, raffles and things that happen at the end, but you can definitely tune in to the next two sessions or we're gonna be offering future ones. Um, so there are multiple opportunities to tune into that. If you're connected with District 5 and you have the kind of email alerts and you're on the lists, then you'll hear from that or you can always check social media for more updates. Um, but so it is running, last night was the first course, but there'll be future ones as well if anyone wants to tune into those. Great. If you could take a minute, thank you. Uh, so Lexi, uh, along with Anna, are kind of the points of contact. Uh, you've seen them put their emails uh, in the chat. And Lexi, if you could put, I don't know if there's like a landing page for that particular offering, uh, but guys sign up. Uh, now is the moment to get your numbers right because we're about to enter 2023. And, you know, I'll talk about this. We're doing a masterclass series on it, but we're about to enter a nasty recession. Nasty. And you better be ready. So uh, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying that when the tide goes out, you see who's swimming naked uh, and, and winter is coming. Um, so um, next up will be Ruben. Uh, as per uh, the, our standard, I'm going to do a quick intro, Ruben, and then uh, hand it over to you to share your screen. Please be ready. Uh, you'll have four minutes. Ruben Sanchez is with Domi Real Estate Advisors and uh, when it comes to uh, folks in the real estate profession, Ruben is just an incredible standout. You'll see uh, evidence here in a sec of his incredible drive, uh, and sh he'll show you how hard work and dedication have led to his success. But he also really values uh, a real estate uh, practice that's built on integrity and that creates room for others to grow and thrive. Um, Ruben, his goal is to help home buyers uh, achieve success in real estate. It's a really crowded market 
one where it's hard to, to distinguish yourself as different. That's where the story of me becomes so important. When you're in a business where there are a lot of different folks who look a lot like you and offer something that looks a lot like you, in the end, they're buying you. They're buying you. And real estate has a particularly low uh, barrier to entry. But as you're about to find out, Ruben uh, is a pretty special guy. So Ruben Sanchez of Domi Real Estate. Congratulations. Hi, good, good afternoon. Can you guys hear me? Thank you, Dan. That was amazing. I have never been introduced that way. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for my presentation. Here we go. Okay, so good afternoon, everybody. Again, my name is Ruben Sanchez. I am the owner and broker of Domi Real Estate Advisors. And before I start my presentation, I just wanna say how um, passionate I am about downtown. The name of my company, Domi, is actually an acronym from downtown Miami, which is where I moved to, where I live, and where I practice most of my real estate uh, profession. The name of my presentation is Dominating the Miami Real Estate Market. And uh, here we go, thank you so much. A quick introduction. Um, so on the left side and all the way to the right, you're going to see what uh, I have been building probably for the past 20 years that I've been in real estate. And for the past seven years, I've dedicated it to this specific company that I built. Here I have my sister on the left side and myself when we were kids. It's awesome to now know that she's also a real estate professional and we work together side by side. Uh, at the bottom was when I started entering the, the Chambers of Commerce here in Miami, and here I am giving a presentation at the Greater Miami Chamber of Commerce. The top picture is a headshot, one of my first headshots in real estate. The one next one to the right, here I am graduating from the Small Business Training Program from the Miami Bayside Foundation, which I actually did twice for two separate businesses. I'm very, very proud to say that. On the bottom, I put a picture of uh, Commissioner Higgins's office in District 5. Um, the reason why I did this is because I was recently awarded the mom and pop grant for downtown businesses. And this is the day that I picked up the check. So I'm very grateful to Commissioner and to the staff that gave us the opportunity to do so. And then on the right side, you start seeing this is part of my first team or the first four or the first three agents that I was able to hire. They are all friends of mine from either CrossFit or just walks of life that decided to get the real estate uh, license. And now we work together. And on the bottom here, you have one of our uh, Zoom meetings that we do every Wednesday, just as a sales pitch. And then this one, the one on the bottom right is really one of that is very precious to me because this is my son standing next to the model of the Waldorf Astoria building that's going to be built in downtown. And he's also now talking to me about taking over my company, <laughs> which uh, I wasn't ready for just yet, but he's very ready for it. So the story of me, uh, let me see here. I'm sorry, this is my business directory listing uh, on the website. And if you click on it, I don't know if, it, if you guys are able to see that uh, it takes you directly to my listing. Do you guys see that? I'm on the, am I on the website? Okay, great. So this live, I recommend that you guys please take a look at it. I am giving an offer. Um, for uh, any future customer that wants to, you know, work with us. Let's see, go back here. Uh, my ideal customer persona, I had two different customer personas. Why? Because I do provide services to the general public, which would be on the right side and we'll go over it in a little bit. But I also provide services to my, my real estate team, my agents. And it's important that I'm able to differentiate both of them because they both require different different services from me as the owner and the broker of the company. So the general public persona will be right here on the right side would be, you know, anybody that has been employed, let's say five to 10 years. And in this particular example, Mr. Jerome is actually a general contractor. So his need is a little bit different than, you know, it would be for any buyer or seller. Why? Because he might be looking for a fix and flip or a property, you know, that he can buy at a discount and fix himself. So his need is going to be different. He's going to consult his, maybe his family. Um, he's in a demographic where he's already built the profession out of his career, hopefully. And he does put family first. Therefore, the attention that I would need to give to him is very different from somebody that, for example, might be interested in a luxury property or a condominium that is ready for moving or for vacation. And then on the left side, you're going to see that uh, the other persona that I, the persona pair that I decided to do was a realist, one of my real estate agents, for example, Stephen. 
Um, he's married. He's a young real estate professional that lives and works in our area of downtown Miami. He's been in the industry for about five years and he does $5 million production and up every year. His pair is an ideal, which would be an ideal pair would be maybe a partner or a girlfriend or wife um, that is actually a mortgage lender. Now, why is this important? Because um, it has been my experience. I actually have one agent now that does this and he has a, a girlfriend of his that is a loan officer. So it's really great to see how they are able to team up together for one particular customer and, you know, make the deal work and move forward. Now, the service that I would provide to Steven would be very, like I mentioned, very different than the general public because Steven actually needs more skills to deal with customers, how to present the opportunity of working with him and his girlfriend or his wife as a partner team. So it's very centric to, to the specific skill set and profession and the, the customer that they have, which uh, are going to require that type of attention from us and the, uh, and the company. How I will, I will make the life better for both of these personas. So a lot of people are aware that, uh, like Dan said, this is a very uh, congested market uh, uh, profession, especially here in South Florida, where it's very easy to get a real estate license. Now, um, we have unfortunately a very, not, not the best reputation as real estate professionals here. Um, I've been told shady and unprofessional. And, uh, you know, this is a different mindset for somebody like myself that's coming in from Texas where I got trained originally to do real estate. So, you know, my profession and my skill set and my service is built on trust. So whenever I meet somebody that has these types of comments, you know, I let them know that I've been in the industry for about 20 years, which is something that not a lot of uh, real estate professionals have, I mean, as far as experience goes. And I genuinely care and, and I'm interested in, in their needs because um, when I was growing up, I grew up in foster care, right? So the story of me would go, um, the story of me is something about, moving from house to house and creating and feeling that instability. So growing up, it was, to me, it was very clear that what I wanted to provide was the American dream, you know, the home ownership process. And uh, this is why the service that we provide in our company is very attention to detail and very, you know, very specific to the customer. Another example would be that the buyer may be hesitant to buy in this because the process is very complex. Well, with my leadership and with my experience, I'm able to actually explain every step of the home buying process until closing and even what happens after closing, like putting your property in homestead, um, you know, if you needed to contact any type of inspection or repairs company, et cetera. Um, now for the agent, I did put two examples. Um, and one of them would be, for example, that I have to use too many applications in order to perform one task. And it's very overwhelming. And this is true. Why? Because we use one CRM system, we use another accounting system, we use a document transaction system, we use a, a marketing system, we use a comparable market analysis system. And what we offer within our company that provides a solution, a very full solution to these uh, to the agents, for example, is uh, that we our, our CRM system is extremely robust and we do everything with within one click of a button, which is amazing. So it saves it saves me on average and I know myself be uh, about maybe 15 hours a week of just work of bouncing off back and forth from one application to another. Now, the, the customer's journey um, to, sell, to sell my services. So um, one of the things that I was able to remember with my amazing coach, Ms. Erica Mayor, was that uh, I have an ebook that I've never really used. So she helped me kind of create an idea and a process to be able to promote the ebook as a way of capturing leads and as a way of capturing uh, potential sell listings. So you're going to see that the journey here would be, for example, I do a market, uh, an internet advertising of, this, of the ebook, uh, which will then have the, the lead visit my website or a landing page so that they can put in their contact information and that way they can receive the ebook. But once they do that, I will be able to follow up with the potential seller, the potential customer to my listing appointment. Now, this to me is very key because I have um, about a 90 to 95 percent closing ratio. So once I'm sitting right in front of you, it's very difficult for me to walk out without the, the listing agreement signed. So I know that this trajectory using the ebook will be very, very advantageous in my business. I have not used it yet, but I'm working on the campaign to do so. Uh, let's see. My biggest ahas. So understanding that the story of me is, you know, the basic 
opportunity to get any business owner with their business out in public so that you can be seen. So creating a very compelling story of me that's relatable to your customer and your audience is ex of extreme importance. And I'm able to say that both, both of my uh, persona, persona characters, uh, you know, I have a story for both of them. So being able to also adapt your story to the, your customer is very, very important to understand. And then definitely creating the irresistible offer. I think that for me, especially in this moment in time when real estate is kind of slowing down, having a seller ebook will be very entertaining and very interesting to my customer base because I'm going to start now looking for sellers that are interested in selling instead of not working with buyers. The importance of having thumb stopping visuals. Um, you know, everybody hear this, we hear this throughout maybe your bachelor's or your master's program or in these courses, but understanding how important it is for the customer to actually stop and pay attention, especially when, when our attention span is like less than 10 seconds on one slide or one video or one picture is very important. Uh, and then obviously the importance of testing, testing your market, testing your marketing campaign, testing, testing pretty much everything that you're doing so that you get the right message and the right audience and you have a lot more success. And then by far the hero's journey. I used to think of the hero's journey, it was just my journey as a, as a business owner, but there's also the hero's journey of the customer where we're guiding them and we're the Yoda, which was an amazing example that we were given uh, during the course. What's next for me? Well, so I have a very ambitious goal this year. I wanted to hire 10 new agents before the end of the year. My hiring season started October 15th. So, um, you know, it's, it's a campaign that's on my way. Uh, strategic planning for 2023 as this year, 2022 was my best year in real estate and I've been in real estate for over 15 years. So, you know, I have very ambitious goals to set for 2023. Continue my volunteering activities with the Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. I'm one of the board of governors for the Association of Realtors and also director for Florida Realtors. So that keeps me very involved and very educated with what's going on in our market. And then um, I volunteer for the Children's Museum as a committee member and other extracurricular activities. Those, those are very important to me and I'm very passionate about those. I am actually moving this, I, I, I'm fulfilling this week actually. I'm actually moving to a smaller office with my space. So check that one off. And then one of the things that I do wanted to share with you guys is that I play the piano and one of my biggest dreams right now is to play the piano at one of my customers listings, hopefully in one of these mansions. And if it's not a mansion, I'm definitely on a penthouse, but a place where I could actually play the piano, which would be great. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you to the entire BizHack Academy team and everybody that supported us during our process. And I really appreciate the opportunity to participate. Great job. Thank you so much for that. Sorry, I was having trouble finding where my mute button was. Um, beautiful job. Uh, we're going to go right into Chris Rourke uh, just for time reasons, uh, but really well done. And, and congratulations. You, uh, you do good for the real estate profession. Um, here we go. <clears throat> Chris Rourke of Volta Ion is exactly the sort of person you would want uh, to be a leader on your team. He is an incredibly vibrant and energetic uh, leader. He's the first to break the ice in any conversation or exercise. He's a complete balance of old school work ethic and hardcore entrepreneurship. And uh, Chris today was recognized by the Miami-Dade County with a key to the county because of his incredible innovative work in sustainability with the Volta Ion Electric Jack. So let me get out of his way and let him share with you uh, this incredible engineering feat and how he's gonna market it to the world. Chris Rourke of Volta Ion. Okay, so um, what Volta is, is basically designing the future of the automotive uh, service sector. As you know, many, uh, many cars are going electric. Um, and so the equipment to maintain them um, has not changed in the last 50 or 70 years. Uh, the story of me, since I was a kid, I was always into taking stuff apart, putting it back together, always getting extra screws and parts and components, but it still worked. Um, but as my life went through, I realized that I had a little bit of a gift of understanding how computers and how systems work. And as a teenager, I started creating systems to help me at school and, and do different things uh, with my homework and automate a lot of my stuff. Um, and with that, I created a whole career in 
in, um, in the industry of innovation, uh, working for companies like Altec Industries um, and Hunter Engineering, both American companies have uh, been pioneers, each in their industry. Um, so with, those, with that, I decided uh, a few years ago that I wanted to go beyond what our capacities were uh, and try to come out with stuff that hasn't been thought and we created the first uh, electric truck jack. Um, the dream started in 2012. If you see the drawing in the middle, the, it's a drawing of how I see the shop equipment in the future. It has solar panels on top and everything is rechargeable, right? So no more grid, it's all recharge ticket anywhere in the shop. And to the right um, is the first customer that bought the jack, uh, Tires Max here in Miami. And that's a picture of him lifting up a fully loaded uh, truck. So the story of me is I always wanted to be able to innovate and uh, push the limits of science to the maximum extent, especially in the automotive service sector, which is something I've done for a, for a very long time. Um, here's my directory listing. I'm a huge, huge Made in the USA person. Uh, for the people that know me for years, um, if I can bring something from another country and recreate it here and, and give labor to people in the United States, um, it, it's my thing, you know. Um, I drive a, a Chevy truck and I try to make sure that it's most of the components are built in here. I'm very analytical about that. Um, I think it's good for everybody in general. Uh, the jack is made in the United States and it's more and more components are being made here in Miami. You know, little by little, we've been bringing more business right here to Miami to get built. Uh, my offer, um, it's not for, I don't know if anybody wants to buy a jack, but uh, it's a one year 0% interest. If you ever want to get into the trucking business and want to repair trucks, more than welcome uh, uh, to, to, to do that. You know, uh, it's a one year 0% interest for our clients. Um, our target audience, um, it's very, very broad in the sense if you're in the trucking industry, you want to talk with us. We've started to do return on investments on the jacks with customers that we've had for a year. And what we're seeing is that most of our clients have paid for that jack in a month, month and a half. Okay, three months at worst case scenario. So anybody that's in the trucking industry, even the city of Miami, even Miami-Dade County, uh, fire department, all of them would not only do better money-wise in the sense of um, less effort for the mechanic, um, also better energy savings because you're not using a compressor, um, and also for the planet. We, we're using a re, uh, rechargeable battery, which means the battery is made once and you're just recharging. It can be solar power, you can make it different ways, but you, you can recharge the battery at least for eight years in a row, you know? Um, and the last thing, which most people don't put into consideration when they're building a product, the jack is 98.5% recyclable. I can melt the jack and build another one. Uh, so that's another thing that we put a lot in emphasis. And our ideal customer is a customer that wants to change the world, that wants to take their shop to the next level, that wants to save money, and that wants to get some carbon credits and, and, and be part of the future. Um, it's interesting. I've had customers that buy one jack thinking it's electric. You know, I have these other jacks that are much better. And the next thing we know, they're buying two, three, four, five, up to eight. Um, so again, you're moving from an air hose to a jack that doesn't require to be connected to anything. You can take it anywhere in the shop. Um, a compressor uses 80, 80 amps of electricity, um, while we're only using two amps to recharge the jack. It's a huge difference. It takes two and a half minutes to set up with a, a regular jack. Our it takes 35 seconds to full race. If you add it up, it's one hour a day you're saving in the shop. Um, you know, our service and support is beyond anybody else you call us we're there within hours we take care of it sometimes and in the near future we'll be able to fix some of the problems online you know because our jacks are getting are being connected to the cloud um, and again it's better for the workers we want our mechanics to be able to retire without back pains and all the other things that happen when you're doing all the heavy lifting right that's kind of our goal regular how it happens with us um, we got reps out on the road uh, but many customers see us, uh, you know, maybe their shop next door has a jack. They ask them, hey, who's, who built this jack? And then we get the phone call. Uh, we set up a demo. The best way to sell these jackets is with a demo. Um, and the reason we took this course 
is because we wanted to promote it more than just word of mouth. You know, we want to get online and excite more people as we start going nationwide. After the demo was completed, we sent a quotation. We got two routes. Oh, wow, it's too expensive. And then we start working on the return on investment. And the other one is we just write the order. You know, normally when we do the ROI, they get convinced and they invest in the jack. Then we do the, the installation and training. A week after we do the follow-up, we ask for referrals. One month later, we just touch to make sure everything's going well. We're gonna start asking for reviews now that we took the course so they can give us Google reviews. Um, and then every year we do a preventive maintenance, which allows us to go back into the shop and try to sell another jack or whatever other equipment they come out with. Um, what have I learned with this course? This has been, it's not only on a high, it's been like a bag of the bag. <laughs> Because, uh, you know, we did random acts of marketing as we knew nothing about marketing. Uh, and so we learned to structure marketing. We create a nice story. We're going to be working uh, soon with somebody that can guide us. Um, but it was good to learn myself of what I'm going to be working with the person that's going to help us with the marketing because we can better understand what we, we're speaking the same language. Um, the, I learned about the story about me. I never really tell stuff about me. Like I surprised Dan today about the key to the city. I'm usually not like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Or, you know, it's, it's never been my personality, but I think it's important to know where I came from, you know, and a little bio is I've created a lot of stuff here in the United States for many of the companies I work for. Uh, when I work at Altic, we the first uh, truck, um, uh, you know, truck tree machine with a with a chain, which is very well known. Uh, the first automatic truck wheel balancer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, learn about the company journey and mission to really focus and tailor it down to there. Learn about our client profile and then also the offer they can't refuse um, just to make it cleaner is what I did. Uh, that's a picture of um, me standing next to the jacks. Obviously I'm proud of what my team put together. Uh, the jacks are not only, they all not only work, they look beautiful. Uh, they've called them the test of jacks. Um, and I think that's a compliment uh, as you know, people like really testing the pretty full cool cars. Um, but this course has done is a very clear picture of where we need to go um, on the social media and create a better marketing campaign um, and us be able to portray to our clients that what we're trying to do is change the future of the automotive service industry. Um, and, and this is really what has helped us. And that's all. I wanted to thank uh, Dan and Commissioner Higgins for this opportunity because it's taught me a lot. Um, and we definitely really like uh, what, what you are doing uh, for everybody else to, to, to understand and learn. Um, very appreciative for the course. Thank you, Dan. Our pleasure. And Chris, it's been an honor having you as part of the program. All right, we got to rush, guys, because we're way behind, uh, because um, uh, Ruben and, and, and Chris, you took way more than four minutes. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to ask uh, Taylor, uh, Maria, Jonathan, and Raphael, please. Uh, I do not want to interrupt you, but I'm going to have to, and that's not good. Um, but just honor the four minutes, and then we'll be fine. Uh, but we are running a little behind now. Um, and that's okay. I mean, everybody's really enthusiastic about their business. It happens all the time, but we've kind of eaten up our buffer and we now have to be on time uh, if you want to get out of here in, uh, in, in on time in, in one hour. All right. So here we go. Let me just actually make sure I have the right thing up. Yes, I do. <clears throat> All right. So that was our amazing how to find customers online. Congratulations, cohort two. Uh, transitioning now to our 35 hour in depth um, Facebook and, and Instagram advertising course. Um, what you're going to see is just how deep we go um, and, and how we apply the lead building system in real life campaigns related to digital marketing uh, through advertising on Facebook and Instagram. And, um, th this is kind of the next level. This is sort of the step up. Uh, this is something that um, 
uh, folks in HTF will ask you if you maybe want to participate in the upcoming cohort, and there might even be some Elevate D5 funding and, and scholarships available to help defray some of the costs. Uh, but of course, uh, one of you, who you'll find out shortly, uh, is the BizHacker Award winner, who's going to get to take the course for free, courtesy of BizHack and Elevate D5. These are the magic marketers. Congratulations, guys. Uh, we had an incredible group of companies, and uh, these are their real-life campaigns. Um, this is a, a special joy. Uh, Taylor works for uh, my wife's company, uh, and so I'm really excited to introduce her here in a sec. Taylor Neverman works with the nonprofit Catalyst Miami. Catalyst Miami is a social justice nonprofit that's looking to take as many families that are in the working class in Miami and give them a path to the middle class and the American dream. Taylor works as one of their communications folks, uh, talking about not only the programs that they do, but trying to help raise money to make those programs uh, survive. Taylor is an incredible talent. Uh, I will also say, and I'm very proud of this, um, I started BizHack uh, as a um, as a adjunct professor at Miami Dade College, um, and uh, Taylor came to me and she said, you know, I was about to start a course uh, at Miami Dade College, but I think what you guys are doing here at BizHack is a little more aligned with what I really need. Um, and so she enrolled kind of at the last minute. And I gotta say, uh, it's been uh, in, in just a, a race to, uh, ahead uh, from there. Tomorrow is their big annual event, Imagine Miami. I'll be there uh, with uh, bells on uh, to celebrate my wife and her amazing company, Catalyst Miami, and all the incredible work that they do. Taylor Neverman of Catalyst Miami. Thank you. Thank you, Dan, for that. Um, yeah, I'll jump right in. That's a great intro. Um, you can see here this little, you know, baby picture representing me as a kid. Um, I was raised by a Marine and a working mom in the 90s. And so I definitely had this mentality of um, individual uh, responsibility being, you know, kind of the only way to live. Um, but through a series of family tragedies and just, you know, life in the heart, I realized that community really is um, where power lies. And so throughout my experiences as AmeriCorps uh, service member, and now working at Catalyst, um, really realize that, um, you know, community is everything. So at Catalyst, like Dan said, we build people power so that the low wealth communities of color in our city can determine and create their own solutions to the problems they face. So using my story of me as a foundation and the idea of community empowerment as our values, um, we began building out a campaign to raise awareness for our annual um, fundraiser dinner tomorrow. So you can see here some of the different um, aspects that we use to narrow down this um, persona of someone who you know, is an affluent, wealthy Miami resident that cares about racial and social justice. <clears throat> Um, you can see our ad here that was uh, designed for someone who's been around Miami for a while and wants to see it flourish, but is concerned about its trajectory. Um, and let's watch the ad on the next slide. Hopefully you can hear my sound, but it's all right. So from there, um, you can see here my customer journey, which uh, really shaped my decision to run two ads and ultimately three ads in the next phase of um, the BizHack course. One for people who are already connected to Catalyst and more willing to you know, buy a fundraising ticket, and one kind of this middle ground um, newsletter sign up for people who um, kind of need more of those touch points to get connected. Um, so our awareness ad felt really successful at three cents per through play. Um, and then the Legion ads, um, there were a lot of link clicks, especially for the newsletter, but moving into um, my learnings that didn't always translate to conversions. Um, so when we were running these second ads, it didn't have a lot of time to you know, make something from scratch. So I used some image we have that was kind of designed more of TikTok, you know, younger um, audience of green screen behind 
and my accountability partner that I had their biz hack, this, you know, this maybe doesn't line up with um, your audience, your persona that you're trying to reach. Um, and you can see here, she was exactly right. Uh, so this was my first ad that was tier um, geared towards the donor persona. It skewed older, um, mostly on Facebook. And the second one uh, skewed totally younger um, and only on Instagram. So it helped me realize, you know, kind of that mentality that Dan talked about in our very first class was that, you know, there's no place for perfectionism here. Um, we have to, you know, push, try new things, fail fast, um, but fail smart. Um, and so I stopped those lead gen ads um, the way they were and led, um, reset them up with Facebook's built-in lead gen um, form. And within one day started getting leads in. Um, so this helped me to see, you know, I really need to think about the customer and each part of the journey and all those touch points. So moving forward, I'm excited to apply these learnings to our future campaigns with our donors um, and clients. Take the time to really build those landing pages that work um, and apply our learnings to the free money that we get for Google Ads for nonprofits. Um, so thank you all for your time. Um, you can reach out to me uh, with these QR codes, um, learn more about Catalyst, or connect with me personally. Thank you. You know, I'm so glad to hear you. Can you hear me okay? Because I've been having a little bit of computer issues. Yeah. We can hear you well. Perfect. You know, I'm so glad, Taylor, to hear that you guys are going to use that Google grant. Um, it, it, it's it's $10,000 a month. In, 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 you know, and Wendy, this is good for you to know about too. But the challenge is you need to actively manage the Google Ads account uh, in order to actually qualify for the money. And then they kind of limit your bids, which makes it harder to market. And so it's, it's like more like PR because very few nonprofits have the sophistication to actually use the money. It's kind of sad, but gosh, Taylor, you definitely are sophisticated enough. And just think about it this way. You have a $120,000 free ad budget. So use it, right? And we're here to help. If you need some coaching on that, some of our coaches are expert in Google ads. We'd be happy to help arrange for that. But, you know, it's the best. Uh, every nonprofit uh, that you're associated with is eligible for this as long as they're a certified 501c3. Uh, you know, Wendy and Middle Grades Partnership, another nonprofit went through our program. Um, it's, it's really one of the best deals in all of nonprofit marketing, but it does require an investment uh, in learning um, in order to be able to leverage it. So uh, I'm here to help with that, okay, Taylor? Uh, Google Ads is not for the faint of heart, <laughs> as I'm sure if you've ever tried. It's, I, I call it a, a system uh, built by Google engineers for Google engineers. 100%. All right. Can you see my screen okay? Yep. Perfect. It is a special pleasure to invite Maria Silva and Andrea Hernandez of Positive Behavior Services to talk about their incredible work in supporting the mental health of our children through uh, therapy. Uh, we are, as a country, going through a mental health crisis. I've experienced some of this close to home with my own nine-year-old daughter and just the incredible stress that uh, COVID and everything that's come after it has put on our young people. Um, and it is such an honor for BizHack to be uh, have one of our clients for our fractional CMO services with Maria Silva and Andrea Hernandez. Uh, Maria and, and I started working together, uh, I think one week before the start of this course. Uh, Andrea wasn't even part of her team. Uh, we recruited and hired her in less than two weeks, brought her into the course, and here they are just a few short weeks later presenting at graduation. Um, and Andrea, you're an incredible talent. Uh, we are so lucky to have you part of the Positive Behavior Services family. And frankly, thank goodness for you, uh, because you, know, you can have the best strategy in the world, but if you don't have an Andrea on your team, a doer, someone who's actually gonna execute it, it doesn't, it doesn't help, right? So uh, what I love is that we're helping in, 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 at BizHack provide the strategy uh, and helping manage the execution, help provide that strategy and leadership. And then we have the incredible partner in the Andrea who's gonna execute it. And so uh, with that, uh, Maria, it's been such a joy getting to know you and Alex, your partner 
and uh, thank you, thank you for the work that you do uh, on behalf of our children. Uh, we have a mental health crisis in America right now uh, with uh, our, our young folks, and you guys are, are a big part of helping us heal. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you, that was a great presentation. My hands are sweaty, my heart is going <laughs> a thousand miles, but it was an honor and I couldn't say it better. Like uh, Andrea has been really a blessing and, and this um, experience and being able to be around like so many great um, talents and business owners I have learned. I've been taking notes even from the previous presenters because this has been until now like a great learning experience. So Andrea, she's gonna be um, sharing the screen. If you can please go to the next slide. So my name is Maria Silva. I'm the owner of Positive Behavior Services. And then here we have a picture of my business partner. His name is Alejandro Hernandez. We're, we are both um, board certified behavior analysts. Uh, we are here in Florida. And then I have a picture of me with my grandma when I was turning 15. And I have a picture of her because through this uh, learning experience, you know, we have to think about our foundations and where we come from and the story of me. So the story of me is uh, from an early age, I had to take care of my grandma. She was a very loving person, uh, but she had like a lot of, um, you know, struggles because of her, her health and her age. So from, from an early age, I knew that I wanted to help others. And, um, and with Alex, we have been able to create a great team of professionals and like-minded individuals. Uh, we've been in business for 10 years. We provide um, behavioral therapy to kids with autism and special needs in um, South Florida and also in Georgia. And, uh, and we are able to do this through the great team that we have hired and trained through all these years. We try to keep our business um, you know, ethical, person-centered, and you know, remain to our uh, core values in our mission. So the next slide. I through through this process after you know the doing the you know the assignments and everything. We had created um, you know a, a persona, and then we have to think of our audience. And this was a great exercise because we were able to think more in depth. Who um, is our patients, who are our patients, who's the, per the people that we serve. And mainly the campaigns were targeted towards the parents. And it was like putting ourselves in their shoes and thinking what are their areas of interest and their struggles and how we come to help them and serve them. And then after that, we also put in place like a free resistible offer, which was a resource with that we already had that, you know, it kind of guides the parents because when they, you know, when they get a diagnosis of autism, like it's devastating. The parents, they don't know where to go from there. You know, they hear different things, but they're kind of lost. So then this is a, a resource that kind of guides them through the hoops and loops that they have to jump. And obviously we can come, you know, through, you know, getting a phone call, we can explain the process and better help them. And then the next one, um, the next one, well, like um, Dan said, you know, Andrea, she was great helping me to put all these videos together and all the campaigns, like I, you know, all the credits to her because I didn't do any of that. Like she was an expert, but obviously we were brainstorming together and I was able to, you know, learn through this process and, and kind of putting different ideas together and seeing like learning all these acronyms and all these things that was like new to me, but it was like a great experience. And then through the, um, we did the landing page where the parents will go in there, you know, they'll get the irresistible offer, which is the, the guide through the process and you're learning through that. So go ahead, Andrea, take the, take the mic. Thank you, and thank you for the amazing presentation also. So this is our Facebook customer journey map and it's divided in five stages. In the awareness stage, a person who is part of the audience that we already created for the Facebook ads clicks on the ad. And when they register in our landing page that you saw before, uh, we, get, we got into the consideration stage. 
where we start sending a series of uh, welcoming emails uh, to invite them to set up a call with one of our experts, which are Maria and Alex. And once we get a positive response, we proceed to have a call to talk about the services and benefits and the impact of having ABA therapy and make sure they understand all the requirements for the process. Once the acquisition stage start, um, yeah, once in the acquisition stage, we start the approval process. And when they get approved, the services stage begins and they start to receive the, the therapy. And to keep the loyalty, we will be sending satisfaction surveys and that will help us to improve, uh, will help us improve our services as well as uh, birthday message or invitations to our, our, our events to grow these uh, relationships with our clients or end patients. Uh, so these were the, the results for the awareness campaign. This was the first video that we created. Uh, we had 4,000 4, impressions. And so we, so we, we, we ended up uh, with 100 through place. And that helped us to, to create the audience for the next campaign. Because in this audience, we target the, the, the people who, who watched more than five seconds of the video and people who have previously interact, interacted with any of our, uh, with our Facebook page. So we managed to get three leads and we're working on getting in touch with these uh, three people that we, we got. All right, so, you know, the biggest haha moments was like, you know, the, like the, for me personally was the, the, the whole process, the whole course, it was like, just like learning all, like I said, all these things that were new to me, but it, you know, it helped me to, uh, for us to better take actions, just not like taking, you know, taking actions that were not leading to anything. Now we have numbers, we can see what we're doing, the results and see what's effective and what not. Um, understanding the marketing process and, you know, and better understanding our potential um, clients and patients to better serve them and improve our current systems. And then the next one, so then the next one is, you know, the, the future for our company, just, you know, trying to see, uh, again, what we can improve, making better um, social media interactions and, and putting other systems into place. And I also wanted to add that, um, uh, when uh, Ruben was presenting, uh, he mentioned that he has a background from in the foster care system, and he really like touched you know my heart because you know I, I have worked for you. Know, we currently work for uh, with kids in the foster care system, and just seeing that you know the what we do every day, uh, working with all these families and the kids that have a lot of um, behavioral issues and many other issues. Um, you know, that it's worthwhile seeing them strive and then that they have a future and then seeing individuals, you know, striving and, and, and trying to go after the American dream. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dan and the entire team. It's been an awesome experience. You know, I just wanna say uh, thank you guys for doing such a beautiful job. Um, and I'm really excited to, um, have you as part of the BizHack family and to continue to work with you into 2023 and beyond. Um, I'm gonna call up uh, the next uh, uh, slide, which is Jonathan, uh, next presenter, I should say. Yes, sir. Okay, so give me a sec to introduce you and then you'll be up. So Flipper Cinema and Arcade is one of the most interesting hidden gems in South Florida. So if any of you are anywhere near Hollywood, Florida right now, stop whatever you're doing and run over to Flipper Cinema. It's this really kind of old timey theater that has, it's like an, a multiplex with 18 um, theaters uh, in the old style. Uh, and also it has uh, an incredible game room, which is with, with skeet ball and all the things that you probably grew up with. And it's like super inexpensive. I think it costs less money for you to watch a, mid, uh, a movie at Flipper Cinema than it would cost for you to stream it uh, as a rental uh, on many streaming services. Sometimes they have tickets under $10. So it's a great family entertainment venue. And uh, Jonathan Valencia 
Uh, is there a uh, marketing coordinator who uh, has uh, shown incredible talent and, and grit uh, in this course? The other thing about Jonathan that I wanted to share is that he's also helped a lot of the participants in the course uh, through their own marketing. And so uh, thank you, Jonathan, for being such a good participant in the program uh, and uh, Flipper Cinema for being one of our fractional CMO clients. Uh, it's great to see the success that they're having in their marketing. Jonathan Valencia of Flipper Cinema and Arcade. Thank you. I never had this such a great introduction. Okay, you guys see my screen now? Yep. Okay, good. So I call this successful marketing and path results. And well, this is the foundation is I am a passionate about everything that's related to digital marketing, including all the technical aspects and SEO positioning and all the stuff. And that's when I came to Flippers when they were developing the marketing area. So the like the motto of Flippers is bringing an audience back to the movies. They want to like the family to be together in this place. So Flippers is a cinema, but it's also an archive room. Okay, so Flippers has been in the industry for 20 years. And then the pandemic taught them that they were first a theater and then an archive room. So they were in search of getting more customers because of the pandemic and all the stuff. And that's when we started. So as you can see here, we got the arcade room and then we got cinema and we got some happy family here taking a picture of the place. Okay, so the audience and the offer, I try to be a little bit broader because we don't have like a specific influencer or something like that. So I try to be like more specific in terms of interest. So arcade family, family entertainment center, movie industry. So like the three top pillars of the industry and then this was our irresistible offer, which was a $5 ticket on Wednesday, uh, different from the other theaters, which is on Tuesday. <clears throat> we tried to do it on a low, a slow day, which was Wednesday, and we got very, very good results. So as you can see here, this was my ad, the first ad. Oh, I think it was the last one. Yeah, it was the last one. The first one was the same one. I just did a little variation. You're going to notice later why. So there was the copy, I use emojis because they caught the attention, something very important, and then I'm gonna play the app for you. So as you can see, I put the arrows pointing down because the most, most of the call to actions or, or the, the buttons are below. So that's why, that's why the only thing I, I in my A-B testing, I knew, okay, this is the only thing that they can mix because uh, the, uh, the results are very good. Come on. Okay. So this is the call to action of the landing page. We actually designed a landing page for this. Uh, although Flippers is just developing the website to the whole funnel, we got to this point where, where we can see like how many people are actually falling into this landing page and see what kind of action they were clicking the button and stuff. We got very nice results. So as you can see, something very simple. This was related to the ad. And then we put the button here to buy tickets. We actually takes them to the place uh, to buy tickets, but we cannot track. We couldn't track until the end of the funnel, but we could see like how many people actually click uh, into the landing page. So uh, since this is what the same issue, we didn't have the option to track until the end. So we designed a like to a basic journey, something that was called uh, a three-step offer or something very basic in this case for the ad it was the ad offer. And then they went into the landing page. And then according to their behavior, if it was only interaction or if they got a purchase, we would target them. Okay. And when we got the complete journey is of course, we got the offer, we got the landing page. Of course, they, they uh, purchase, they make the payment. And then usually you get the email right here, right? But since we are trying to make them buy tickets, so we offer here like this loyalty program, like, okay, benefits. So for example here, okay, thank you page. We capture emails and then we start sending emails like news, latest movies, benefits from the loyalty program, trivia, service, stuff like that. And then in the end they get subscribed to the loyalty program, which is like at the end, another of the programs that the, the, the theater has. So as you can see, for $100 spend, we got like uh, 7,000 impressions. We got like 96% of people saw the whole thing. So it was very good. We actually got people clicking the, the link and all the stuff. So it was very good. We got 0.01 cent 
uh, for result, so which was amazing. Then this was the second ad. Uh, here I did a mistake when we were live, so I, I thought like that I extended the end date of the ad and it got only 35, uh, but we got 20 sales. But I mean, assuming that there was a third portion because we got like 100 and some clicks there. So we got good, it was good. We got 80 clicks, sales. So as you can see through place, we got here camping one, camping two. This was the first one. I only variate the buttons because very important to do the variations. This one that I would deal with, but this one was the best one. So it's very important to do the variations. So as you can see, these were the six, the, the, the ticket selling before the ad started running. As you can see, you can see a spike, which meant it was worth it. And then here we did the same on Google Ads. That's why I say that we couldn't, we were assuming the total sales, but it was working. As you can see, these peaks are the same thing. Then my learnings is important segmentation. So here, for example, depending on the ad I was running, I created different audiences. And then I started stacking all of, all of them up so I can have like better results. A B testing on esters. This is actually Sasha's words. So it's very important you do variation for your ads so you can see like which one is performing better. And in the end, importance of the customer journey. So you are really sure how are you taking them. And then let's see what's next for the company is like, okay, keeping the growth. Well, with the funnel of awareness, it's very important they discover you, consider you. And then at the end, they try to buy from you or get subscribed. And then uh, continue the funnel, implementing a local ads. We already do that and keep testing creatives to bring new customers. And that's it. I really appreciate like uh, the whole team for guiding us and especially introducing us to learning by doing, which is very important. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much, Jonathan. And I'm curious, um, you actually have a background teaching English. I did want to call out, you were so generous in sharing your expertise. Um, guys in the chat, can you please, anyone who benefited from Jonathan this semester. Uh, will you guys give him a quick thank you uh, in the chat? Let him know uh, that you appreciated his uh, extra efforts. I can tell you it went uh, very much with notice by us. In fact, uh, we plan to use Jonathan in future cohorts as a marketing coach uh, because of what he showed uh, this week, So uh, this, this cohort. We, we look for and recruit from uh, our participants because we have amazing marketers in our midst and we love to keep it in the family. So you earned that, my friend, and congratulations. So uh, next and our last presenter uh, is uh, Rafael Rosario. Thank you guys for keeping the time. Really appreciate that. I'm going to do a quick uh, you know, intro uh, of uh, Rafael, and then you're up. I hope you're ready. Rafael Rosario is with Prominent Financial Consultants. And like so many companies that offer professional services, uh, he needs to create the systems, content, and marketing strategy uh, that's going to allow him to succeed in a very crowded marketplace. And uh, I have to say that Rafael has impressed all of us with his grit, his determination, and his charisma. And I'm very excited to share all of that with you now in his final presentation. Welcome, Rafael Rosario of Prominent Financial Consultants. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. And thank you very much to everyone, uh, you know, for the support and the help, especially Jonathan too. Thank you. Uh, so let me go ahead and share my screen and get right to the presentation. Okay, so I am the owner of Prominent Financial Consultants, and we started Prominent Financial Consultants in 2014. Uh, we are based out of Miami, Florida, and I started this while I was attending FIU. Uh, just basically a guy with bad credit that wanted to help people and wanted to help my situation out. And in the process, I created a business. Um, changed my major from psychology to finance and just really started understanding finances uh, throughout the entire route and anything that my clients needed. Um, I, I'm a yes, so I say yes to anything that my clients need and I learned throughout the way, basically how to help them through not only credit, but through taxes, bookkeeping, starting businesses, helping them businesses grow. Um, so from 2014 to 2017, I was able to launch my office. Um, and then this year, I call this year the glow up year just because I was able to accomplish so much more. I opened a new, uh, new office, new website, new services, new team, and, you know, just striving to create more and more and helping my clients get better and better and bigger as myself as well. Um, the services that we offer is bookkeeping, 
um, personal and business services. Uh, we'll be bookkeeping for taxes, payroll, credit repair, and starting businesses, registered agents, things of this sort. Um, some of the objectives that we were trying to aim for as part of the, um, you know, the uh, ads that we we're teaching on this hack were the objectives of video views, leads, and quiz for upsells. I started with the video views and I'm actually still on here because my number one objective and goal is to create awareness for my clients. Um, for financial services, it's a little harder uh, to attain someone's trust and they need to make sure that you're able to you know, do what they need to accomplish their goals. So I'm really trying to do the awareness part right now. After awareness, I will try to get them as a lead. And then from there, I will also have an objective to create, a, I have a quiz to create upsells and know exactly what to sell them. Um, my audience size, I based it on income. Um, and I focused my marketing only on credit repair to start. My audience size was 260 to 300,000. And I made a focus of people that made $75,000 or more had bad credit or a score under 600 and we're interested in buying their first home as well because I know we'll be able to accomplish them through the entire process. Um, and I, my offer was a fit, free 15 minute financial clarity call as well as free credit repair because they will be reimbursed at the end of cl at closing on the table. So I'll be reimbursing them everything that they spend um, with my services. Um, my ads were, at the moment I'm running two ads, one just showing people dancing and happy and being able to celebrate life with great credit, and then another one just showing them that we can make their lives easier as long as they have us as their partners on their side. Um, my results for my first ad is I got about 1,200 impressions, um, 41 conversions, uh, more than out of the 20, uh, 1,200 impressions, 843 people played more than uh, three seconds, and then the entire through play was 479, which is over about 40% or more. I um, actually saw over the whole ad. I mean, on my second ad, I got 11,992 impressions, um, and then the cost per million or cost per thousand is three dollars and one cents, with over a thousand people seeing three ad, uh, over three seconds and 88 people seeing the through play. And I'm I'm tracking all of this with the pixel, and I'm also um, tracking all of this on Google, so I can see that from the 17th of October, which is when I launched this ad on Monday. Um, so today, when I took the picture earlier today, about 97 people have gone up to the website just to check it out and it continues to be growing. And this is just real my first week of launching just two ads and I'm going to continue launching them as well. Um, my customer journey starts with where they meet me or where they, you know, where they see me for the first time. I do networking events. They can see me on social media. It can be referrals. Um, all of my business up to this point has been referral based. So that's my main bread and butter. Um, but I'm trying to go into the, you know, Google cost per click, organic search and create more content to help my clients um, get better. And then after they initially see me, the awareness starts with educational speeches, videos and content ads, landing pages in my website. Once they are considering me, they'll either do a quiz or a financial clarity call 15, 15 minutes, or they'll start reading my reviews and get more information from me or about me. Um, once they make, they either make a purchase or they don't, I have either a follow-up system, email system, uh, goals, um, e-series that I'm launching in January to keep them informed with different situations and different things they might want to attain through life. And I always give everyone either $25 or $10 off their next visit or uh, their services just for referring me business um, to try to keep people coming back for more. My aha moments in the class was the importance of a customer persona. You need to know who to market to before you start marketing. You can't market to the entire world because the entire world may not be your demographic. You want to know who your demographic is and what they need and how you can fulfill it. And really the to condense the audience size, you want to find your perfect bubble, as Mike would say, um, your, your perfect bubble. Want to make sure you know who you're, you know, who you're marketing to and never market a business without having the essential resources you want to have a landing page you want to have a form you want to have a customer journey what's going to happen after they sign up what they come what your offer is there's a lot of different things that come into making this work and what's next for us we're going to be doing um consistent marketing for the next two to three months until income tax season starts in january um dedicating to daily weekly and monthly content consistently through all our social media channels on google and facebook and everywhere we can this will be followed by three ads for each individual service to test out different audiences and creatives and then hopefully just prepare ourselves for a successful 2023 and beyond and of course like that said the recession is coming we definitely want to be ready um and that's all for my presentation thank you for taking the time and i really want to thank everyone uh, for all your help and thank you Dan and Michael and everyone. Great job. Well, you definitely honored the four minutes. You were more like micro machines guy. That was, that was very quick, but um, you know, really good job. Great results. Uh, Raphael, what did you get out of the program? Oh, so much. And I'm still learning. I'm, I'm really just, I start, this gave me such a strong foundation 
to know exactly what I need, what to do, how to get clients, and how to really turn on the funnel uh, for what I want money and not. And I know this is going to continuously grow and you know extend the, the, the branding. And I've really learned that my your brand is only as strong as your promises kept to your client. So you want to make sure that you, you know, anything that you're saying to your client and what you're saying you're doing, you want to make sure you do it for the best of your clients and just make sure that everything you keep your word and your brand and the consistency for everything. Perfect. Um, now we have a poll that we're supposed to be able to launch. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and relaunch it right now. Um, and this is about kind of your next step in your biz hack learning journey. Um, there are three questions in the poll. Uh, the first is um, all of you guys are eligible for additional one-on-one -on -one coaching with your current marketing coach. Um, and um, that, uh, you know, uh, obviously has an additional fee. We, we, we can talk about that later. But if you're interested uh, in that, uh, click yes. Um, are people seeing the poll? Because I'm not seeing any responses coming in. They're seeing it. Okay, good. Uh, the second one is HTF graduates. There might be, and there's no promises, some additional funding available through the Elevate D5 program. Um, you already get, all of you, a 50% scholarship. Uh, for the Digital Marketers Edge course. Um, and this, there might be additional scholarship funds available. So if you're interested in the more extensive course, you just saw the presentations about, go ahead and mark yes, uh, and that'll put you in the running for potentially additional scholarship funding. Um, and then finally, and if you're a DME graduate, just let us know. And then finally, we do at BizHack offer additional digital marketing services. I listed right there what those services are. Um, and so you can go ahead and um, uh, answer those. Um, it looks like we might not have uh, updated those, Tiffany. If you don't mind, uh, Tiff, adding those to the um, other question uh, as well, just so we can get an, uh, some accurate responses there. But go ahead and okay. indicate anything there that is of interest to you guys. Um, and uh, we'd love to, to help you with that. Um, so we'll keep the cult poll open uh, for a bit. Uh, not a single person has answered yet, um, but um, Andrea, you're seeing the poll, right? Yeah, I don't think you're seeing the results, Dan, since there's numerous hosts. That's why. Understood, that makes sense. Okay, I was like, gosh, nobody's actually answering this thing. Yeah, no, a few people <laughs> have you, you absolutely, There's no obligations. You don't have to do anything more with us. <laughs> Just put no. <laughs> we don't wanna bother you, truly, you know? So, uh, so Toby, you're seeing the responses coming in. That's good. Um, all right, so we are now um, on to uh, class photo. Keep answering, um, keep the poll open, Toby, uh, for another couple minutes. But um, Tiffany, you're up. All right, um, if you could stop sharing. <laughs> all right, so as a tradition in all of our graduations, we take a moment to really capture everyone that's in the class. So if everyone could you know, turn on their cameras, it could be really quick and then you could turn it right back off just so we can get a nice picture of everyone that was in these two courses. Guys, look at Maya. She actually dressed up with her law school gown. <laughs> and then uh, Lily Veritas, I would love to see the top of your head. <laughs> For some reason, you're getting, your head's getting cut off. Uh, but uh, everybody else is looking amazing. Frank Obregon, you look like you're in the Matrix, um, which is funny. Uh, but Dr. Stephanie, Abel, uh, Ty, now's the moment. Um, uh, Diego, good to see you. Uh, all right. All right, perfect. Uh, Frank, if you want to just take your background off so you're not like half in your background, half out, <laughs> that's no problem. And Illy, if you just lower your head down a little, you're, uh, it's hitting. There you go. I know you have to kind of squat. Uh, yeah, lower your whole body. There you go. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're ready. We're ready. <laughs> Okay, All right. so, her back. <clears throat> there's a lot of us so i'm going to take the picture twice so first is just a natural smiling casual picture so ready three two one i'm going to take it again because there's more than one slide here okay everyone again ready three two one okay perfect and now the one that we actually use <laughs> the silly picture so do whatever you want go crazy okay <laughs> three two one 
three, two, one. And then one more time. Three, two, one. Perfect. All right, okay. I'm going to do the rest of the presentation like this. I'm stuck. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dan Gretsch. I am a business storyteller. Dan. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh, my God. Thank you, Marika, for laughing. It's actually a perfect segue. Uh, so I'm going to hand it over to Marika. We're going to be doing the certificate ceremony now. Uh, Marika, I'd love for you to say a few words. Uh, that was the best segue ever because um, your laugh is amazing. Um, so Marika Lynch, lead instructor of the Busy Bees, uh, the um, How to Find Customers Online course. Awesome. Thank you, Dan. Guys, this is my first time teaching this course, and it was an honor and a pleasure, and I loved every minute of it. And in the beginning, when we picked our logo, we were the Busy Bees, right? And I picked that because I love the alliteration, B Busy Bees, and I love the fact that it was written B-I-Z-Z-Y, -Z -Z sort of like business, right? But when, uh, now that the time has come, I really think that that name is perfect for you guys because you guys are the honey, the sweet, sweet stuff that makes this place really an awesome place to live. Each of your businesses. You heard everybody that spoke earlier, Jessica, Chris, and Ruben, but we also have Annie Bell who's out there building wealth every day for the people of Miami-Dade County. Ty and Chris who are keeping us green. Alex who is keeping our hair cut nicely. David giving us tours. Um, it's just the list really goes on and on. You guys are awesome. I've loved it. Thank you. I cannot wait to see where you guys go. I love it. And we wanted to uh, give Tamisha the floor to, to share a few words as well. She was one of the marketing coaches speaking on behalf of the marketing coach team. So I just want to say that we've had such an amazing five weeks together. I am so honored that I was um, able to be a coach for this group. And I am so proud of you guys. You guys have worked really, really hard. And I know that it's a lot when you're trying to run a business. Some of you have families and then you have to show up twice a week. And then we gave you guys homework to do. And it is a lot to manage. And so I just want to applaud you for all of your efforts. They are not going unnoticed by us. They are going to pay off so much for you guys. And we are just so super happy that you guys have chosen to put yourselves in this seat here to get the education, to get the training. Some of you have already started to establish relationships with each other. Use this as a platform, not only to learn how to grow your business, but you look, look around you. You have tons of other business owners that are looking for the same things as you. So make sure you guys connect with each other. You have a whole community of people in the background um, that are just like you, that gone through this program, that are looking to help and support you. So lean upon each other. Do not let this be the last time you look at this work, these the, the books, the, the homework, all the things, because again, we know how it is, right? You look at it, you're in it, and as soon as it's done, you close the book and you move on to something else. Please try to stay within what you've learned. You've learned world-class information. Even I, as a coach, was sitting here taking notes like, ah, I got to remember to do that. This is not something that you would get anywhere for free. So please take advantage of what you've learned. We love you. We are proud of you. I will be watching every last one of you guys from the sidelines. Please keep up the good work. And I cannot wait to see the amazingness you guys are going to create after this class. So thank you. It was an honor to work with you guys. And Tamisha, we love you right back. You're one of our newest members of the BizHack team. And uh, what a job you did. All the marketing coaches and Marika, guys, uh, throw it in the chat. Throw your love. Tell them how much you appreciate it. Uh, I promise you that they're getting paid a fraction, a fraction of what they would earn in the open market. And they're doing this because they do love you and love small businesses and want to help support uh, our small business ecosystem, the backbone of our economy. And with that, uh, Marika, uh, go ahead and read the certificates. Congratulations to Corey Burton. Woohoo! Abel Flores, who won our offer Palooza. Alex Garcia, by the way, check out his offer. You can get your first two knives sharpened for free. Chris Wart, cat dad. David Brown, our tour guide, and more. Denise always has her eye on the PR. Doralis Ruiz, one of our two realtors. And Yvel Arias, building wealth every moment of every day. Jessica Berger, I think I might need the card. 
Marlene Markowitz, thank you for sending Sadie Sadie. Maya Ibar is actually Maya, nobody knows this, but Maya was my friend before the course. And I even know that she showed up in class. I was so excited to see her. Congrats, Maya. And thank you for getting dressed up. Yes, I love it. Ruben Sanchez, no, no introduction needed for Ruben. <laughs> Sadie Figueroa, thank you again for everything. Great to see you here in class. Congrats. Ty Vaz, love your cleaning products. Congrats. Excellent. Thank you, Marika. On now to our Digital Marketers Edge and the indomitable and incredibly English accented Michael Pace. Everybody needs a Michael Pace on their team because the British accent makes him sound super smart. And he is already a sharp, sharp dude. All right, Mike, you're up. Se equivocó. Yo soy el español. Yo soy el inglés. <laughs> muy bien. Bueno, estás muy bienvenido. Okay, thanks. I thought I'd just throw that in. No, thanks everybody for um, uh, for sticking with the course. There's a tremendous amount of uh, uh, learning. I mean, Raphael really summed it up when he went through all the things like the, the 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 journey map, you know, the persona, all the analysis, actually creating two ads if you can. I mean, most people actually managed to do two ads, which was fantastic, um, and then um, and then really getting the results out of it. So I think the name Magic uh, Marketeers really summed it up because you guys were performing magic right from the beginning to the end. Um, and I know we expect you to, to, um, to perform magic, but actually you managed to do it. So congratulations to everyone for doing that. And um, really looking forward to seeing how it all develops and how everyone uh, moves forward. And we had a couple of, um, I think, uh, I don't know if Carlene's still here, but um, it'd be great to have her say a few words because she was a new coach. Carlene. Hey guys, I'm still here. Hi guys, hi everyone. Uh, everyone did an amazing job. I watched all the presentations. So those in my group did good, but those who weren't in my group that were in Saucer's group did um, amazing, amazing. I'm really proud of everyone in this course. Um, I, I got to meet some that were even in Saucer's group that really overcame a lot of challenges, whether it be via technical challenges or business manager challenges. And um, I'm really proud of everyone that was able to overcome those. I just want to give a big shout out to Maria and Andrea. <laughs> they did amazing. I'm really, really proud of you ladies. Um, those, they definitely overcame a lot of the challenges that they were faced um, in the course or throughout the course rather about build, building out the ad and just getting familiar with Facebook ads manager. So awesome job, ladies. Um, also really proud of Taylor. She's a rock star. <laughs> she's been, she's been great. Um, and you did a really good job on your, your presentation as well. And then, and everybody else in my group, Illy, Rachel, um, I don't think Carmen's on, but also Carmen did amazing as well. So good job. And everybody else, you guys did really good. I really hope that um, everyone left learning something new that they didn't learn before, um, which I hope is a yes <laughs> for everybody, it should be. And I know that you guys are going to be amazing digital marketers and go really far. So great job. I look forward to seeing everybody's ads on my feed <laughs> for time to come. And, and thank you, Michael, as well. Michael and Toby, you guys did awesome. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> thank you, everybody. And this Bob's is like the uh, Academy Awards. Well done. <laughs> great. It was awesome to have you, Carlene. You're a rock star, and we're going to work together, I hope, long into the future. All right, Mike, you're up. Great. Okay, so here we go. Um, so we've got uh, Yvonne Worry, uh, Natasha Mataya, Stephanie Thomas, uh, Andrea Hernandez, one of our two positive behavior. Uh, Carmen Sapiotti did the hybrid media, fantastic uh, ads coming out of that. Frank Jr. Obregon, um, fantastic ad, I thought. A really difficult category to work in, but did really well. Frank Senior as well, great part of the team, the Frank team. I like how we converted Junior and Senior to their middle name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Genesis Ibarra, one of the FIU team. Uh, Jonathan Valencia on, from Flippers. Kiana Coley, another FIU. Maria Silva, the other half of the uh, positive behavior team. Rachel Pinzer, who had um, a very um, an amazing ad featuring a chimpanzee at one point which was a real thumb stopper. Love the work. Uh, Rachel Vanderford, uh, also from the FIU team, came up with a brilliant campaign. 
Rafael Rosario, you've seen his work, amazing. Thank you, Rafael. Rene Samuels, uh, doing a great job. Taylor Neverman, uh, well done on Catalyst Miami. Wendy Hartman Summit, um, also worked with Rene. Um, really good work on the middle, middle grades partnership. And sort of that's a really good community project. Ilian Verdes, thank you for managing to pivot halfway through your course and change from being a dentist to, um, to actually being a language uh, offering. That was a really inspired move. Yeah, Ilya's going to teach Spanish language dentists how to uh, do dentistry in English. Zion Seely, yeah, the lead presenter for the FIU team. Great team effort, but uh, well presented, Zion. Yeah, we're going to miss you next week, Zion. So Zion and the FIU team are actually going to be presenting with Marika and I to their, all their 30 colleagues in their the communications department at FIU, and we'll be there for it. Um, we'll miss you, man. I hope you can uh, join us for part of it. All right, well, without further ado, uh, we're gonna give our biggest uh, honor. Uh, the Biz Hacker Award is for the agile mindset. It's for, you know, half of what we're teaching is skills, and the other half is a mindset, what we call the marketer's mindset or the biz hacker mindset. And that's someone who's willing to embrace new challenges, work your tail off, experiment and try new things, and see failure uh, as merely an opportunity to learn. These are the core elements of the biz hacker mentality of constant experimentation, embracing the new, fishing with a spear rather than a net, patience and perseverance, never stop learning. And ultimately, you guys all dared to fail gloriously. And many of you actually had great success and we're very proud of you. Uh, I want to acknowledge Jessica Berger, uh, voted by her How to Find Customers Online colleagues. She's going to get a free full scholarship like Illy did uh, for the Digital Marketers Edge in January. Um, and then during graduation for that course, uh, I hope to recognize her again uh, for her colleagues to give kind of a, a message from the future like Illy did. And Rafael Rosario, uh, the indomitable Rafael, congratulations. Uh, the Digital Marketers Edge uh, recognized you uh, for work in, in a very difficult category. Congratulations to both of you. I now want to recognize and honor our brand new certified instructors, Marika Lynch, certified lead instructor. Woo yeah, baby. Carlene Scarlett, certified marketing coach. Tamisha Duncan, certified marketing coach. Diego Orlandini, the man behind the Winwood Coloring Book, this beautiful book uh, of. Um, uh, hand drawings of different murals from Wynwood, uh, kind of a real passion project of his and, and labor of love. Um, congratulations to you, Diego. Erica Mayor, uh, welcome back. Uh, you're uh, now certified as a marketing coach as well. And as a thank you gift to our incredible instructors team, uh, this is for all of you. Each of you are going to get, first of all, a $100 value three-day pass to the Miami Short Film Festival, including their gala. Uh, and you're also, you're going to get all of that. Uh, that's it's coming up in November. And second, you're going to get two free movie tickets to Flipper's Cinema. And then Marika Lynch, I was waiting to show you this, but I can't, I can't hold back. I also bought you something, which is, bam. Oh entertainment weekly guide to stranger things <laughs> it is the full book it's all uh stranger things the whole time backstage interviews cast never before seen photographs uh that is for you but we have to see each other in order for me to give it to you okay sounds good thank you i wanted to let you guys know that applications are now open for the digital marketers edge cohort 25 a quarter century starting in january and the how to find customers online cohort 3 starting also in january the how to find customers online is only open to district 5 businesses these district 5 businesses are based in um like little havana brickell flagler and south beach so if you know of anyone uh, who um, you know, might benefit from that, go ahead and answer the poll that I just launched, letting us know. Please, please, if you went through the HTF program, Illy, all the rest of you, two people, we need you to give two people the gift of this free course. Um, 
the digital marketer's edge. I hope to see a handful of the HTF graduates in that program. Uh, we're gonna, we already are giving you guys a 50% scholarship at $1,750 off. And we're gonna see if we can't scare up a few more scholarship dollars. If you're interested in that, I hope you marked yes. Uh, we'd love to have you. You can see that it's a lot deeper than what we were able to get to with HTF and it's a perfect adjunct uh, building onto it. Um, if anyone wants to go ahead and apply uh, for either of those programs, that's the link to do it, bizhack.com slash apply. Uh, the average participant, even during COVID, uh, made a 29 to one return on ad spend for every dollar in ads, $29 in incremental revenue. We have 17 seats left in the January cohort, and we have given out scholarship funds worth more than a quarter million dollars to 123 BIPOC and women-owned businesses. Many of you were beneficiaries of that scholarship program here today. Um, and the folks, uh, we're, we're very uh, grateful to be able to do that for businesses. Um, so we launched the Zoom poll, please answer it. Coming up in BizHack Live, our free digital marketing masterclass series. We're gonna do a whole series on strategy. And we have um, strategy, uh, the Silicon Valley way, uh, EOS, the hottest uh, small business operating system, how to prepare for the coming recession and communications magic with Jennifer Hudson. Uh, these are all free sessions starting November 2nd, the 9th, uh, and then November 30th and December 7th. We'll take a short break for the Thanksgiving holidays. Continue your learning with us. This is part of the big announcement uh, that I wanted to share, which is, um, the mayor's office, seeing what we were able to do with Elevate D5, seeing the masterclass series that we ran, uh, has actually given us a grant to turn how to find customers online into a recorded course that will be offered for free to every business in the county. So the how to find customers online is gonna be a course for free for every business in the county. It's one of the most important things uh, that I have ever done in my professional career uh, and I wouldn't have gotten here without all of you. So thank you guys for that. Um, finally, uh, we're not gonna have time for the musical surprise, uh, which is uh, a great um, recording uh, of one of our coaches who sang a song. Maybe what we could do is, um, is we could play it as we finish out. Um, but I wanted to do the last thank you gifts raffle. Um, so we have a $50 uh, Visa gift card with First Florida, uh, courtesy of First Florida Mortgage Lending, uh, Frank Sr. and Jr. And the winner is? Jonathan Valencia. Good for you, Jonathan. That'll go far in Colombia. Three one-hour marketing strategy session with Michael Pace. And the winner is? Wendy Samet. Uh, free one-hour marketing session with Sasha Awa, one of our marketing coaches. And the winner is? Carmen Safioti. A $25 Starbucks gift card from Carlene Scarlett. And the winner is? Zion Seely. A $100 gift card from Positive Behavior Services. And the winner is? Rachel Pinzer. A 30-minute social media audit with Tamisha Duncan of the Duncan Agency. That goes to Chris Rourke. The Winwood Coloring Book Anthology by Diego Orlandini of Aimful Books. And the winner is? The winner is Ty Vaz. And I just wanted to say if anyone else had thank you gifts that weren't included here because they came a little late than our when we were finishing up the presentation, I will still make sure to connect you with the gift winner. Perfect. And so finally, uh, our musical surprise. Let's squeeze it in. Uh, marketing coach Ricardo Barris, the founder of V-Group Agency, is also... Ricky Ricardo, uh, Ricky Anthony, I should say, that's his artist name. You can find him on Spotify. And he actually created a song uh, dedicated to all of you. Uh, we actually own uh, BizHack. Uh, we bought from him the rights to it. So it's our anthem. It's our song. We love playing it at the end of uh, graduation. It's, a pair, it's available on iTunes. Uh, and go ahead, uh, Tiff, and, and play it. We'll run a few minutes long. Thank you guys so much. Journey, there were many things you did. 
it's because of your openness to learn look what you've earned yeah and as you go your time and your attention we don't we know how precious that is and we'll see you guys in all sorts of different ways as we continue our learning journey together have a good one everybody thank you